Welcome back, everyone! This is Geronitis, bringing you Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Today, we are starting on episode 22, and today we are back at the castle, and this chick is following me around while I try to get my stuff taken care of, so let's just talk to her hey. real quick. Ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Uh, go away. <laughs> Lady, I really don't want to talk to you. I don't much care what you want to do. But I want to talk to you, so you're going to listen. Nice. Get on with it, then. Don't get testy with me, missy. I was field stripping laser muskets when you were still in diapers. No, you weren't. I'm over 200 years old. You didn't exist. Call me missy again, and you'll find out exactly how far I can shove my boot up your ass. Ooh, so you do have a backbone. Good. I wouldn't fight for anyone who lets me push him around. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. I am insulted that you would refer to me as the idiot that took over. I don't like what you're implying. Easy there, cowgirl. Joe Becker died years before you came along. I'm talking about the gang of clowns that let the Minutemen fall apart. I didn't respect any of them, so I took a vacation. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for you to tell me what you want. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Uh... I don't have to answer to you. I don't need to answer to you, soldier. You don't get a pass just because everybody calls you general. In the Minutemen, you gotta earn respect. Well, then let me I tell you about all the things, things I've done. What you've been doing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. No, I don't. I'm doing fine without you. We were doing just fine without your help. Really? I guess you know all about the castle's old armory then. <laughs> well, it took you long enough. You could have told me about that first thing. You could have been less of a jerk first thing. <laughs> well, that's fair. Still remembers this, but the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. I've already been there, actually. You're really slow. Yes, yes, yes. The door won't open. All right, so I'm going to go ahead down there with her. I'll be right back when we actually get to the part where I couldn't get past last time. Ah, let's see. I used to know this password. One if I land. Nah, that's not it. For the Commonwealth. Ah, darn it. Oh, it's been a long time. United we stand. Yeah, that was it. And she comes through, puts the password in. I get to grab a bunch of wine. And, ooh, plasma car 100 plasma cartridges. Didn't expect that. Uh, Minuteman General's hat and Minuteman General's uniform. What exactly are these about? Charisma plus one. I'm fairly certain the general's uniform, seeing as it has all this damage resistance, will take place of all of my other stuff. Let's check real quick, just for fun. Of course it does. Ah, that explains all the landmines. This is, well, was, General McGann. He had your job back when I first joined up. Must have gotten trapped down here when that sea beast attacked the castle. Ah, uh, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. Ah, guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. So Geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. Yay! Can I get out of here now? Uh, no you know, I never noticed that before. There's a nuker grenade in the corner here. What is a nuker grenade? I mean, I know that they had them in previous games, but I've never seen one in this game. Nuker grenade. Holy crap, that is powerful. 
863 damage plus 100 rad damage. 863, 288, 432. Holy crap. That nuka grenade is a monster. And we've built the artillery, gotten it tested, and now she is a merchant. Let me see what you've got. Here's uh, what we have on hand. All right, so when I'm looking through her inventory, she has this Marksman's 50 caliber sniper rifle. Uh, if you look at it, it has the extended magazine, but I don't know if it's the quick eject one. Uh, but the uh, the stock on it, the stock is the Marksman's stock. It's the best stock that they have. Uh, for $326, I'm going to buy that and transfer the pieces off of it. Uh, just because I don't want to have to take the armor's perks in order to do that. So I should be able to go over here, and there should be a weapons workbench, I think. Yep, there is the marksman stock. Change it to the short stock. Excellent. Large quick eject magazine. I'm thinking that that's what I have on mine already, but just in case. It's a medium scope, so that's kind of disappointing. Ah, see, this is the medium quick eject mag. Now we have the large quick eject mag. That is definitely worth the 300 and something dollars. And, of course, changing the full stock to the marksman stock is going to increase my value? Superior recoil, better aim with scopes. There we go. So that improves my sniper rifle even more. Uh, and before we start out with this, we're going to go ahead and use the level up from 42 to 43. And hit ourselves up with one more level of intelligence to work our way towards... Well, Scrapper's good to have, but we want to get Science and maybe Chemist. I'm not sure about that yet. We'll have to see about that, but we're going to increase this slowly. So now that we've actually begun the Automatron DLC, uh, I when we talk to Ada, we now have the ability in the Special tab to build a robot workbench where we can build our own companions or even... Just build people to work the farm for us. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up right here. And if we access this, we can now build ourselves a brand new robot. Alright, so your basic automatron doesn't actually take that much to make. Rubber circuitry, ceramic, aluminum adhesive. Wow, that's a lot of adhesive. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to make one of these just because we're making one. Uh, I've never assembled one of these, but uh, let's just see what we can come up with real quick. Actually, it looks like all we have available is basic Protectron stuff. Uh, we need to unlock some more things here. Now, you can have this guy as a companion, but I really don't want a companion because I'm doing Lone Wanderer and I'm on survival mode. So, uh, but now that we have Autom Automatron 826, Automatron 826 can do any number of things. And I went ahead and built myself a stall here. To my duties. Just make myself a normal everyday, you know, uh, trading station for junk. Uh, and I can actually assign my newly built automatron to go ahead and be the proprietor of this store. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? So basically, do personality subroutine, do you want it to sound more like a person? Personality subroutine? Would you mind explaining that to me? Processing. This unit is equipped with a dynamic personality subroutine to allow a more human-like interface. This subroutine is equipped with several advanced AI protocols such as emotion, humor, companionship, and empathy. The personality subroutine is highly recommended by the manufacturer. If long-term rapport with this unit is expected, do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Well, I don't know if I'm going to care about long-term rapport, but yeah, sure. let's do it. That would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? Uh, no. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, ma'am. Well, that's weird. I actually thought that you could, uh could make them do that kind of stuff. Mayhaps I am incorrect. Hang on, let's try something else. All right, how about now? Our food is at 17, we're gonna assign this guy to the food. And okay, so he can do the food. That's at least something, so good. 
I, I, I thought they could be merchants. Maybe because they're specially made and they can be companions that they can't be merchants. I thought they'd be able to, but that's all right. That's all right. I've got plenty of people to be merchants. So um, as we go through, we're going to get to where we can make this guy better and better. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm not sure. Um, as a companion, a fully customizable companion, that would be really cool. Um, being in survival mode and taking the Lone Wanderer perks, having a companion really, really hurts me. So I may not do this all that much. But I don't actually have to take him with me. Um, I don't even need to take anyone with me. My job is to go uh, investigate the General Atomics factory. So we're going to take a quick walk over there and see what awaits us. Huh? What's that? Someone there? Blinky? Is that you, Blinky? Oh, hi, Blinky. I was going to look for some robots, but you'll do just nicely. I may have been a little too close to that one. Okay, well, unfortunately, uh, I'm a genius, and I forgot to sleep before leaving to go on this mission. So uh, I just had to replay the entire first section of this episode. Um, I had to redo all of it. And unfortunately, when I got done redoing all of it, um, Crazy Chick, who I can't name remember her name, uh, did not have the same sniper rifle as she did before. Uh, she still had a sniper rifle that had the marksman stock, but none of her rifles had the quick eject extended clip. So unfortunately, uh, I wound up getting, uh, well, I didn't get screwed out of it. I screwed myself out of it. So... Um, we're gonna go back down here. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have to thank Blinky. Uh, we're gonna give Blinky a very special thanks. So Blinky should be just inside here. Uh, there's the caution. Here, here, Blinky. I got something for you. Stand back just a little bit because I was too close to the explosion last time. Let's not have this happen again. What the heck? Oh, pff, seriously? You are blocking my view. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, yeah see, I got something. I got a bunch of stupid ghouls who are ruining the show. I have no words. I have no words for I just I went through all that and I I was it was it was going to be beautiful. It was all going to be beautiful. And then ghouls. Well, at least let's see if Blinky's dead in here somewhere. Blinky! Hi, Blinky. I actually do not care at all about your stupid mini nuke, but that's for me. And the chain stays wrapped around his non-existent head. And of course, ironically enough, I walked past the General Atomics factory to get blown up by Blinky in the first place because I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. And then I walked back past the place I needed to go in order to go back to get Blinky, get jumped by ghouls, and whatever. We're here! Alright. Well, I'm immediately in caution. That's not good. Oh, look. Oh, hey. Easy now. Oh, wow. Did that really just hurt me that bad? Oh, hi, hi. No, 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 no. No need to come over here. Holy crap, these guys hit hard. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's... I mean, I hit hard too, but still... Here, have a grenade. That should, yeah. 
That didn't. Did he already? No, he's right there. That's a bad grenade throw. And somehow still didn't kill him. Okay, that's it is. All the shots. Okay. Bad Cybermech junk bot. Whew, okay, you know what? Um, I need to restore some uh, some health here, and it seems like a good time for Yao Wei Ribs, which gives me an extra 15 damage resist. So let's do that. Alright, so let's take the high road. I like the idea of being able to look down on things. Okay, there's at least a swarm bot around here. Man, these guys hit hard. Like, I'm, I'm actually seriously worried at this point. I said, I'm ready for this DLC. I might be wrong. This might be a very, very bad idea. Ooh, Tesla Science. There we go. Missed this guy. The Mechanist Holotape. Well, actually, that's a curiosity. What does that holotape say? Okay, well that's interesting. So he's fighting for justice. Does that mean I'm the bad guy? Or is he one of those people who believes that everyone else is evil uh, and he's the only good guy even though his ideals are horribly evil? Because the, the problem is that evil people don't see themselves as evil people. Evil people see themselves as doing the thing that needs to be done for the greater good or something like that. There are very few evil people who say, ha ha, I'm evil. So, I mean, he probably thinks he's doing the right thing, you know, doing whatever he's doing, which is apparently killing lots of people. So he, he may be, he may believe that he's doing the good things. Whoops, hello. You know, I either need to remember to sneak, oh boy. Uh, this is going to be a problem, but that's okay. Let's switch over to this guy. A little bit for everybody. Come on. Drop. Next. Two. Three. Dead. Good. Okay, anybody comes around that corner, they're getting blasted. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hi! Hi! Um, please die before you do anything. Oh, he's meleeing. That's okay, he didn't get to do much to me. Are we still... Still in danger? Oh, there's one. Okay, so there's one over there. Okay, the one over there is... Unable to... Ah, uh, reach me. Very nice. Legendary Cybermech Swarm Bot. Yay! That sounds like great fun. Who else needs my help? Ah, I've managed to find a way to get the drop on him. Uh, oh, oh. Is that the legendary? That is the legendary. Okay, it's fine. They don't know I'm here. Legendary dies in one. Yes! Excellent. Must have been a sensor glitch. Yes, definitely sensor glitch. You guys did not just get shot through a hole in the floor. Whoa, I forgot that freaking legendaries explode. What is wrong with me? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's just 247 rads. I think I saw that right anyway. Very well. We will find you sooner or later. No, you won't, because robots can't look up. So, um, I came into this because Legend, you know, doing the DLCs, uh, I thought was going to give me more of a challenge because even on survival, things were going to be a little bit easier than I expected. Die. Thank you. Um, even on survival, things have been being pretty simple, honestly. I I've been having less and less time, uh, dying and just more kicking butt. Um, 
So I knew that the Robo the Assaultron uh, DLC was supposed to be pretty hard. So I came into this thinking, eh, they say it's really hard, so it'll just be a minor challenge. These guys hit hard. These guys hit really hard. And there's probably something right down here. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. 75% chance. Whatever. Just shoot. Just fire and hit the thing. Sneak attack four times. Goodbye. And we are hidden. Hooray. Okay, so... But yeah, this is this is turning out to be a bit more of a challenge than I originally anticipated it being. And why am I taking so much rads? Okay, well, I guess the legendary glitched out. I don't know. Mechanist device. Sure. Um, I guess this is what we're supposed to be. Yes, search the RoboBrain. Speak to Ada. Okay, so we're supposed to go back to Ada. I really want to know where that legendary is because, you know, legendary gear and all. Well, that's kind of strange. I've looked all over the place, and I cannot find this legendary bot anywhere. Um, for some reason, the corner of this room is supremely radioactive. And I've got to assume that there's some sort of weird glitch, or maybe the legendary bots leave radi radiation behind when they explode now. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have an answer there. I just know that the legendary guy seems to be gone, and I don't get the legendary gear. So whatever. I'm going to pick this door, loot some places, and we'll meet you back over with Ada at the castle. All right, we're back over here with Ada. Yes, I am back. Were you able to find anything at General Atomics? Uh, yes, actually, I found a robot with a brain in it. Have you seen a robot with a brain before? I've never encountered such a robot, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. According to my databanks, it's called the RoboBrain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed, but the model never reached full production status. Um... Okay, well... I killed it rather easily, so I'd say that it's actually a piece of junk. Just this piece of junk. Even junk may hold a purpose. Impressive technology. Oh, I if found this piece of junk. Oh, right, right, right. Radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Um. Sure, sounds like. <laughs> hope it's safe. Ah, who cares? A solid plan. Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. In order to maximize our time efficiency, perhaps I should accompany you now. Nope, nope, nope. Go away. I don't believe we were finished. Yeah, we're finished. You may not realize it. Look, you're here. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, how do I find this? Where do I? Where do I put this in you? I need to. I need to. Do I do I install it in your torso? No, I can change your torso. Ah, uh, do I have to finish the conversation? Really? You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation. Hey. I'd rather Come on. accompany you, but it's your. Are you ready to install the radar? Oh uh, yes, yes. Let's get this over Let's with. Just get this over with. Don't worry, the installation shouldn't take long. It's Once already taken too long. Bench, just install the radar beacon, and I'll do the rest. I can't do it until you tell me to. Stupid game. Ada. Special mods. Look, it's a miracle. Heads up. Certainly. Ada. A moment. The modification was successful. Well, I would hope New so. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing updating from where? Hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Well, that proves it's very useful. <laughs> all this for nothing. Hell, that's useless. I did all this for nothing? With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Of course you are! Uh, who cares? Another robo-brain? Who cares? We care. Allow me to explain. No, the I'd rather you didn't. The source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. 
Oh my god, so now I have to go kill two more of these. I, I love that. It's like, I just I just stared at her quietly for a second. Is this a joke? Looks like it's robo-brain season. At least until our mission is complete. I'm uploading the location of the robo-brain to your pip boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. Yeah, I kind of noticed that in the, in the, yeah, that was, oof. I, I almost dropped dead. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. These are for you. These are for what? What is for me? A silver pocket watch. That's that's wonderful. Can Let's yes, can I, yes. yes talk. Get lost. It's time for you to go. Yeah, yeah. You can stay at the castle. That's fine. Okay. Now I'm not overcumbered anymore. So let's see. Where am I? Good lord. How much stuff did she give me? All right. Whatever. There we go. Okay. So. She gave me a 10 pound weight. Here, because I'm already over encumbering you a bunch, let me give you some more weight. Okay, head hunting. Let's see, that's gonna take me a second radar beacon. Oh, over next to Hangman's Alley. Well, that's kind of, uh, uh let's go with fortunate. Let's go with fortunate. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't take a vertebrate ride out of here. You are very imprecise in your landing. But I guess I am 96 meters away. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's run over there real quick. I wonder if my favorite raiders have respawned yet. Oh, look at that. My ride immediately got jumped. What is jumping my ride? That is some sort of robot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hi. Awesome. Blow him up. Tank bot. Oh wow, that thing is uh, tanky. That's <laughs> what I was gonna say, but that's really bad. Have I completely missed every shot here? What is going on? Oh hey, there's something else. Okay, let's see. Is that? Oh, there's the robo brain. Is it coming to meet me? What? Are you serious? There's a robot right behind you. Does you have something better to do? Well, not anymore. <laughs> oh, look. Here it comes. Oh! Okay, I thought I was shooting a missile for a second there. I was like, nah! Alright, you know what? Here, have a critical. Oh! Nice damage, but I really wanted it to drop dead. Yes! Is it... What? What just happened? I think it froze me. Yeah, I think it froze me. All right, who else has got? Oh, okay, so just the Robo Brain. Well, it takes care of that, but there's still more fighting going on, and I really want to see what's up with that tank bot. All right, well, let's grab the Robo Brain, and then we'll walk over there. Radar beacon. What are the chances? Robo Brain treads. Hooray! All right, let's get sneak mode. Still says we're in caution. Oh, there's something. Thank you. Next. Oh, oh, there's tank bot. Thank you. Next. Do you mind? Next. Huh, nope, nothing really good on him. I was really hoping I would get, uh... I was really hoping I would get, uh, some fusion cores, but no. Yeah, and, and now uh, my mission is to talk to Ada again. That's actually really annoying. Alright, so it's not the fastest of fast travels, but it's still, uh... I see we're having this as a very large advantage to being able to do this DLC in a timely manner. Because otherwise, I'd have to wait until I wind up back over at that side of the map or over here or over there. So let's just talk with Ada. Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. 
And with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Uh, we're wasting time. Where's the next place? Either that, or the mechanist is smarter than you suspect, and we're just wasting our time. Let's hope that isn't the case. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another Robobrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. Yay! Where's this one? Oh, God. Where is... Get to the... Uh, uh, sarcastic or get, get to the point. No, sarcastic. Let me guess. This is going to involve a lot of walking. Your astuteness is impressive. No, this My is going to require a signal correct. grenade. The signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The Robobrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array. Fort Hagen... Oh, yeah, exactly the, the other world. side of the map. Oh, God. Who the heck are the Rust Devils? Who or what are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. And you've I never seen them in all your adventures because... You. I just want you to be well informed. That being said... Despite what lies ahead, I'd be more than happy to accompany you, if you like. If uh, not, no. then all that remains is to wish you good luck. Well, good luck be wishing, because I need another ride. Alright, so back on the ground next to Fort Hagen. Turret's still smoking, of course. Somehow missed this stuff. Not gonna argue, take it anyway. Alright, so I need to find probably a place to sleep... Uh, to drop a save point real quick, because I have no idea. I'm assuming that those satellites... What was that? Nice tank! That is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen this tank here before. But I know what I have seen, and this mattress is it! Yay! Okay. Of course, I... Ugh, whatever. I'm tired from lack of sleep, and I have weakness. So an extra 20% damage. But that's okay because I've got antibiotics. And, of course, some purified water. Alright, so we should be heading up this way. Let's get into sneak mode with my long-range rifle. And let's see what we can't do to pick off some of these guys. Because I'm sure there will be multiples. Um, did that guy just set himself on fire? I think she did, but you won't feel it anymore. Anymore. Thank you. Next. A Mr. Handy Wrecker. Oh, hey, there's a turret. Next. 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 Anyone else? Oh, I love the fact that they're coming to me. Well, I leveled up, so I'm not going to argue with that. As a matter of fact, since the... Uh-oh, here we go. Attention. Fugitives should be considered armed and dangerous. Indeed, I should. Oh, wow. You, sir. The first shot didn't hurt you that much. The second shot destroyed you. Makes perfect sense. Level up. I actually have two levels up. I'm at level 45 now. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and take the fifth level of Sneak. Uh, engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose you. That would have been really useful when I was going through the uh, General Atomics factory. So, yeah, we want to go ahead and do that. And we aren't quite high enough for the last rank of Rifleman. So, instead, we're going to go ahead and take a perk in Strength. Uh, that will increase our carrying capacity, and that is something that I really want to do. So that should hold us for now. And, okay, so I'm in caution now. I engage stealth. Oh, it didn't make him lose me, but that made her lose me. How about distant enemies will lose me? Okay. Shouldn't they? Oh, well, I guess that probably means from danger to caution. Because they technically lose you then. So I'm looking at this the wrong way. Um, you might like to think so. Hello. Ooh, legendary Rust Devil. You know what I've got for you? This. Ooh. Next. Whoa. I said next. 
And you know what? Because you were standing next to him. Whoa. You know, when you have a sniper after you, you advance on his position. Staying at the same distance does not help you. Next. Machine gun turret. Next. Oh, back to hidden. Sweet. Let the looting commence. All right. Legendary Rustel has the Ghoul Slayer's Plasma Sniper Rifle. It does 50 more, 50% 50 more damage against ghouls. And ghouls aren't that dangerous, so that's kind of a crappy weapon. All right. So I looted all these guys, and they have some robot equipment. Uh, heavy robot left arm, decent damage resistance, nice energy resistance, but it weighs 12.8 pounds. Uh, when you look at my current left arm, it is 3.9 pounds. Um, my current left arm has 12 and 12. This only, I mean, it has almost twice the damage resistance, but the weight on it is ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to just leave this stuff in this toolbox uh, because I just don't care. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see about heading inside. But, you know, we've gone on a little bit this episode. Uh, I really don't know how long this episode is going to wind up being. But uh, I need to deal with my weight issues. And I need to sleep. Uh, our current mission is to go inside over here. And uh, we are going to do that next episode. So until next time, this is Geronitis signing off on episode 22, I believe it is, of my survival mode. Uh-oh. Completed. Help survive. Okay. I helped defend Overland Station. I, I totally went and helped them. <sighs> um, survival mode. Let's play. Thumbs up. Click it. Help spread the gaming.